Hey people, this is Antar bringing you my 41st narrated Wi-Fi battle. Um, I'm uh, against a random Wi-Fi opponent using my Sydney team, and it looks like it's going to be a good match. Um, I don't think he's using any Ubers. Uh, anyway, so I've got Rotom and Steelix leading off for a nice discharge um, earthquake combo. Um, and yeah, so I do consider maybe I want to do something else. Uh, you know, both of his guys... You know, maybe I want to do a curse. Uh, I don't know. But uh, I do go ahead and eventually choose Earthquake. Um, and he, uh, his uh, Bronzong, you know, Bronzongs are usually levitate, but a lot of people take advantage of the fact that Bronzongs are usually levitate and um, make them heat proof instead, uh, figuring that people won't attack with Earthquake. Um, anyway, he attacks with close combat. Um, but Steelix has one of the highest, if not the highest, defenses in the game, and so survives the hit. Um, Bronzong goes ahead and uses Payback, and Rotom survives, um, because, uh, I guess Rotom's not that bad off either. Uh, and get, anyway, Rotom survives and gets the Bataya Berry Boost, which is great. Um, Steelix goes ahead and uses Earthquake, um, which, as you will see, uh, it was a heat-proof Bronzong, and so it's a super effective hit, and it takes him down. I'm a little surprised. I mean, I know that, uh, you know, bug types resist uh, ground-type attacks, but with the defense drop, I was really hoping that uh, he that his Heracross would get KO'd as well. Oh, well. Anyway, he sends out Swampert, and I think about what to do. Um, let's see. Yeah... Um, Discharge will probably KO Heracross, or, or Shadow Ball will too, um, but actually I decided to Shadow Ball Swampert. Yeah, it's been a while since I've, uh, since I recorded this. Anyway, Silux is dead if I leave him in, um, so I go ahead and switch him out, um, and send in, uh, Pidgey, uh, who, uh, my Charizard, who, uh, will be able to survive any, um, you know, will not be hit by Earthquake if I decide to use Earthquake, or if he decides to use Earthquake. Uh, anyway, uh, Swampert takes the hit like a champ, um, and no one attacks his Heracross, so Endor was kind of wasted there. Um, Swampert goes, goes ahead and uses Surf. Don't know why I wasn't predicting that. I mean, that's kind of a fairly straightforward move. Uh, anyway, Charizard is down to very, very low HP now, um, so really not the best move on my part. Although I am in... um. That does put me in blaze range, uh, if I want to use a fire attack. Uh, Heracross does survive, thanks to the Endure, so it wasn't a completely wasted Endure after all. Um, I go ahead and send out Torterra um, as my last Pokemon. More and more I'm thinking that Torterra needs to be replaced on this team. Um, although, here it's coming in handy, I guess, because Woodhammer is going to um, do massive damage to Swampert. I'm going to go ahead and use Heat Wave uh, with Charizard, though. Um, Heracross avoids the attack. That guy's a little survivor. Um, but I do go ahead and hit Swampert. Um, and actually, with the Blaze Boost, um, it does uh, it does knock him out, which is kind of nice. Um, and so that means my other attack is going to be aimed at uh, Heracross. And, you know, since he's only got one HP left... Um, not the worst thing in the world. Heracross uses close combat, um, which will take down Charizard, so not that great for me. Uh, but, it, and, you know, it's not really going to hurt him anymore since he's already down to 1 HP. Um, you know, the defense drops aren't going to hurt at all. So yeah, Woodhammer, this is just ridiculous. But at least there, you know, there's no or next to no recoil. I don't know, whether, I forget whether it rounds up or rounds down the recoil. Oh, you can see it actually. <laughs> rounds up the recoil, so I took one um, HP worth of recoil damage, but it's recovered with leftovers anyway, so who cares? Anyway, so we're each down to our... No, he, uh, he's down to his last Pokemon. I've got um, two left, and so... Um, but Glaceon can um, KO uh, Torterra in one hit, and depending on what he's running, if he's running Hidden Power Fighting, Steelix is dead in one hit too, so I just gotta hope that, um, you know, he can only take out one of my guys at a time, and I hope that whoever survives will be able to take him out. Um, Torterra is, he targets Torterra, probably the good, better choice, and Torterra goes down in one hit. Yeah, Torterra is not necessarily the best person to have on this team, really. Um, Steelix uses Gyro Ball, which doesn't do enough damage. 
uh, Glaceon survives, and um, I just gotta hope that, well, he's only got ice attacks, maybe he's um, boosted in some way. Um, I debate switching to Stone Edge, um, which, uh, you know, might get the, uh, the critical hit. Um, I don't know why I would have ever used Earthquake. Maybe I was going for the Curse. I don't know. But I do decide to go to, for the Stone Edge, but it doesn't matter because he's got Water Pulse and doesn't, you know, the crit didn't matter there. Uh, Steelix is down and he's won the match. Still, it was, you know, it was a really good match in my opinion. Um, it was pretty neck and neck. Um, he was, you know, he narrowly escaped defeat there, as the announcer would say. Um, hope you enjoyed that battle. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Uh, so long.